Hello there, and welcome to Dr. T for today, November the 22nd, 2nd, 2nd. This Sunday, oh wait, no, it's Tuesday, shoot. This Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. That happens. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I guess things are pretty crazy. Got some confirmations about the, uh, the imitation game and the bugs with the, the resources getting dropped and the, the blowing up of things and the craziness about barbed wire being in places and doing things and oh my goodness it has been a day and a half well I guess technically it's been a couple of weeks but shh, we're not going into that um also, I know I just tossed, like, one artillery and it took out that cannon. But if you take out that cannon, especially if you use barrage, you're going to end up taking out the crates that are near it. And you're going to get a lot of that GBE back. So, absolutely fantastic thing to take out. Uh, and as far as, you know, like, uh, I guess your GBE plus minus with advantage in gain and whatnot. And then once you're in the corner, you're going to get a win. The first three levels of T today I found were incredibly easy. Like a lot easier than normal, which was really nice. And then you hit four and you go, duh. Yes, that is indeed two shock launchers right beside the HQ, both of which gots to go. Uh, which is, is kind of nasty. And then you've got like the bundle of sniper towers right there and a couple sniper towers over here and like four is pretty tough I'm not gonna lie to you now I I kind of I did things like in idiot uh, so don't flare back and then let your tanks roll forward and then go under smoke and do weird things like I did just flare your tanks over if you're gonna smoke them the same way I did to like kind of maximize my shock time I guess uh, you know, the, the, the going all over the place and doing weird things, not, not necessary at all. And honestly, that second smoke probably isn't really needed at all. If you want to smoke the first one, just to make your tanks take a little bit less damage, by all means, that's super cool. Do that. Your tanks will thank you for it, I'm sure, because, you know, they're not going to have to repaint as quickly. But... You know, eh, definitely do pull them over because that's going to keep them away from the other sniper towers, but you know how it is. And then set up roughly where my tanks are, like over, just pinned into the corner. The sniper towers will not be able to reach you there. If you've got more tanks, you might end up flooding out into sniper tower territory, but really not a big deal like if you really wanted as you could see I flared over specifically to blow up the one sniper tower and the rocket launcher you're already there if you followed that far with the strategy just take out the extra two sniper towers just it's not a big deal you know just bang bang all right and then flare back and then nothing's gonna hit you in a million years and you're gonna laugh Moving on to stage 5, uh, if you're landing full tanks, well not necessarily full tanks, but full boats, like you, if you're landing all 7 or 8 boats that you have, smoke the right hand side. Uh, <laughs> you know, like, that's, that's all I got for you. I, two smokes, you don't really need to smoke the left side at all. You just want to have enough smoke that you can get away from Sniper Central there. There's like 20 sniper towers all within 5 feet of each other. And if you don't smoke, they will do a significant amount of damage to your tanks. And heaven forbid you should be unlucky enough that one of your boats of medics ends up landing way over there. Because they would shred your medics right to poop. Um, but... If you, if, you, if you do the two smokes, bring everything to the left, you can take out, like, one, maybe two of the sniper towers, if you really feel like it, and then drag everything over to the left and just kind of come around the left-hand side. It'll be nice and easy, and your attack will kind of go along the same way that you can see mine going here. Hopefully you've got more tanks and or more medics, so 
Uh, it'll spread some of that damage around, maybe make life a little bit easier. You're not going to have any danger zone type tanks where they're almost dead. Um, and yes, uh, once, you, once you get into range of the HQ, it really is just like mortars and rocket launchers. And man, I would go up against that all day long with my tanks. They're, they're not going to do anything. At least not at this level. If they had something ridiculous like a 300% damage boost, then we're talking a very different story. But on the old Dr. T5 not an issue at all and a second nice super nice thing about this five no shock launchers or boom cannons so if you down four there's a pretty good chance you might be able to take down five now granted four relies more on your gunboat abilities being leveled up and having the gbe to barrage a whole bunch and five more relies on having your troops leveled up so they can do the right amount of damage to kind of pre keep your attack moving through the shocks and then you're going to need a bunch of GV. Uh, so it, it all kind of balances out. It, it's a pretty good system. Um, definitely give five a try if you're normally borderline, I guess. Or if you're not quite there but you just want to try it. Now, stage six is actually... A very similar landing strategy throw some smokes down over on the right hand side and land everything on the left hand side only me I'm so smart I'm gonna throw some critters because that'll distract the cannons the sniper towers all the bad things and you will want to shock just right because you can get the two sniper towers the cannon and the flamethrower that doesn't really matter but the point is you can get the two sniper towers and the boom cannon and you definitely do not want those going rampage on your on your poor tanks as they try to get their bearings straight um, and then once you've cleared out enough buildings throw down a flare in the very bottom corner and your tanks will just roll over and start killing the poop out of things you may want to shock the flamethrower because it will do some pretty intense damage if left unchecked and don't forget to blow up the boom cannon. The only reason I really left that boom cannon as long as I did was because I figured, you know, for people who are a little bit lower level, they can't take out the shock launcher and the boom cannon all together at the same time. This is a fantastic way of kind of breaking it up, showing a good place in the attack of where you could pay more attention to that boom cannon. Uh, also, I threw my critters a little off time because you're taking out a boom cannon and a shock mine. It's really nice because if you throw them right there, they'll actually distract the cannon that was on the left hand side, I guess, of the gap where my tanks currently exist. If that makes sense at all, hopefully it does. Um, but there's a cannon over there, and if you throw the critters at the right time, they hit the boom cannon and the shock mine, tripping both of those, which is what we want. We want those cleared, but then the cannon's like, oh, there's critters right behind me. Let me turn around and start shooting at critters. And it'll buy your tanks a little bit of extra time to shoot through things, where you might not have to use a shock. You might be able to save a little bit of GBE, may make the, uh, the old attack a little safer there, you know, eh? Anyways, with that, six goes down nice and easy, and we'll move on to seven, which, my goodness, <sighs> honestly, without words. Uh, so one barrage over into Mine Central because you want to take out all those mines. Yeah, you're not reading that wrong. Only 400k on the on the HQ. No boom cannons or shock launchers. I, I, I don't even know what to tell you. Uh, now, same deal. Again, I threw out the critters and let them run around on the beach. The reason for that is it distracts the sniper towers over on the right-hand side. It actually causes all the rocket launchers to unload and shoot at said critters, which is key because those rocket, like, there's enough rocket launchers and they're starting to get enough of a boost because they are getting a 50% damage boost, um, they they can do some damage, you know? They, that sustained 
And it's not so much that they will do damage, but what will happen is they do enough damage that the healing from your medics counteracts it, which is good, that's what you want, but then as tanks start getting hit with things, your medics are just trying to combat the rocket launcher damage and aren't recovering from, say, the sniper tower damage or the mortar damage or whatever. Um, so, it, you know, be careful. If you throw those critters, it just it saves your medics that little bit of extra work. Um, especially if they're, you know, lower than level 13. Like, I'm, I'm rolling level 13, but if you only got level 10, that might make or break the attack for you. That little bit of extra, I guess, non-damage. Uh, <laughs> anyways, go up the left-hand side. As you can see, it's, it's pretty straightforward. A couple of shocks when you run into, like, mountains of cannons and sniper towers. But, yeah should be pretty good pretty easy if you normally only do a six this is the seven for you to try anyways guys <clears throat> thanks very much for watching hopefully this has been helpful hopefully it's been entertaining and most importantly hopefully you guys have a fantastic day